Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over the three paid plans that Slack offers. So the three plans that Slack offers are the pro plan, the business plus plan, and the enterprise grid plan. As you can see, Slack provides a description for each. I'm not going to read through each, but the pro plan is essentially for smaller teams. The business plus plan is for larger teams and the enterprise grid plan is for really any size organization, but preferably for large organizations. In each of these boxes, you can see that Slack not only highlights the price, but also highlights some of the features of each. Some of these are pretty self-explanatory, unlimited message history, unlimited apps and integrations. Essentially, each of these plans as you upgrade offer the same thing that the previous plan did, but additional features. So the business plus plan will offer everything that the pro plan offers and the enterprise grid plan will offer everything that both of these plans offer. The main difference between the three plans is that the pro plan and the business plus plan, the administration is done at the workspace level. Whereas with the enterprise grid plan, administration is done at the org level. An org is essentially multiple Slack workspaces that are connected to each other. So the key takeaway is the enterprise grid plan is the only plan out of the three that you can make administrative changes at the org level. Whereas the business plus plan and the pro plan can only be done at the workspace level. This may be confusing right now, but as you continue to learn the platform, you'll gain a better understanding and a lot of this will start to make more sense. So if we scroll down, Slack actually provides an additional chart that compares the features for each plan. Instead of reading over all these, I'm just going to show you that when you hover over any of these features, Slack provides this pop-up where it gives you a description of what that feature is. And as you can see, these features are broken down into productivity, collaboration, if we scroll down, security, compliance, administration, support. Understanding what features are available on which plans is extremely important to understand for this exam. So I highly recommend you go over this table several times while studying for the exam. I'm going to provide the link to this table. The Slack admin course that Slack offers also dives deeper into each of these features. So that's all I have for this video. I'll provide the link in the description below. Make sure you revisit this table as much as possible until you get a really good understanding of what each plan offers, as well as the limitations of each plan. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.